Hey there guys, it's Salas, and welcome back to Salas' week of LEGO. But before we start today's video, a quick public service announcement. When I put this up for the vote between Salas' week of LEGO and Salas' week of speed, I was presented with this comment. And the only thing I have to say to that is don't tempt me. Because you really underestimate the amount of games I have. So, I present for your entertainment today, Lego Racers. Lego and Speed covered in one move. The first thing I'll say about this is it's an old PS1 game. You cannot control this with the analog sticks. It's all digital movement, which kind of sucks, and I'll show you why. Let's dive into a quick single race, and I'll show you the racing part of this game. Now, I'm going to be cutting out the loading screens in this, but it's an old PS1 game, and it runs like ass. So, let's have a look which which uh, races we can do. The Imperial Grand Prix, Dark Forest Dash, Magma Moon Marathon, fucking sold! Right, who are we going to be? We can be Joan of Cart, Turbocharger, nice Pringles moustache, mate. Scooter, Oh god, anyone with Justin Bieber's hair can piss off. I think I know what we're going as. Yep, Robo Racer and his moon cars are going to race on the moon. Right, welcome to the moon. Three, two, one, go. Right, I will say this, it's very, very Mario Kart, this game. You can see there are various pickups you can collect. And the bricks are colour coded. For example, blue are defensive. Red are offensive. White do nothing. And I literally mean they do nothing. Bomb for you! Haha, <laughs> sucks to be you! Right, red gate, red gate, red gate, red gate. Thank you! Shield. Yes, nice. Lovely. Right, I'm going to the blue gate now because I feel like I'm being different. That gets me every single time. Every time I see that, I think I can go through it, but no! No, that's a shortcut that doesn't open, because this game is an asshole. Oh, who am I kidding? I love this game. It's Lego mixed with kart racing, it's awesome. And the thing is, there's a theory that kart racing games are where game series go to die. However, I think Lego have done really well. Because they've raised to release this and didn't die. Right, what did Green do? I think I know what that is. I think I know what that is. That might indeed be a super booster! Yes! Lovely. Yeah, apparently green are super boosts. Which is handy because I'm in last place. Bollocks to it again! Every time! If that force field was a different colour, we might be okay, but no, 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 no. It has to be the same colour as everything else on this level. Die! Ah, sucks to be him. And guess what? It sucks to be you too. Shield. Lovely. Now, I've only shown you a, a few of the weapons in this. There's weird ones like the grappling hook, which will pull you towards the next cart, you can, next cart in front of you. Bomb! Which does that. And again! Not getting caught out a third time. No, I'm going to get bombed instead. Okay, fair enough. Right. I didn't come last! I didn't come last! <laughs> I'm so happy! Now I'm going to show you the, uh, the main reason why you want to play this game. The build mode! You can make your own racer. Let's make one that looks like me, shall we? In limited Lego, bl limited LEGO bricks. Right. There is a shuffle button. Which lets you select random shit. Now, let's have a look at the hats. Robin Hood. The Archmage of the entire fucking universe. Billy. Dunno. I'm gonna need a crash helmet, I think. Oh my god, we got Benny's helmet. Brilliant. Right, I don't want to be Indiana Jones. 
What have they got? Let's have a look. Ooh, Black Knight armor. Like it. Just normal trousers, normal trousers. Where's my pants? You know what? I think it's gonna have to be the moon trousers. Moon trousers it is. Let's make the license. Right, we are not called player. Let's delete all that bullshit. S A. I think I like about this. If you hold the button down, it doesn't scroll too quickly like some games do. And a last an S. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Salus, yep, we're done. Right, now we get to build his car. And this is the best, this is the best bit of the entire game. Look at all the choices they give you. You scroll through and look at this. So much stuff. As you can see, they're all themes. These are your standard Lego bricks. They're the racers. Moon options. Pirate options. You know we're going piracy on this. Right. Now, let's just move this around. In fact, that's... Uh, that'll do. That'll do. I'm not going to stay too long in this because I know full well I can be here for hours creating the ultimate weapon. Sorry, cart. Cart, sorry. Sorry, got to, uh... Got to curb my violent tendencies. Naturally, though, wearing a big sword sticking out the back. I don't like the digital movement when it comes to this. Because it's very awkward to use. Okay, I've obviously got to build something to put the swords on, but I'm not going to do that. However, can we have a pyramid on the back? Oh, indeed we can. No, 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 I can't do this all day, because I'll be here literally all day creating the ultimate weapon. So let's just have, let's just have my sled. And the best thing is, when you click finish, you can now test drive the set, the uh, super sled. Right, welcome to the Lego test track. There's no lap limit or time limit. You just get to test out your awesome super sled. And I think this one handles a lot better than that moon buggy does. Except when you use a super boost, that's, that's, that takes it a bit out of control. But the best thing about test track, there's two different versions. You can go into the dirt track for a bit of off-roading. Which is awesome. I, I cannot stress how awesome this game is. I love this game. This is, this is Super Boost. This is great. But let's get to the test track and we'll take my Super Sled out for a proper race. Today's video is probably going to be a bit short because as fun as LEGO Racers is, A, I'm not very good at it, and B, there's not a lot really to show off. I've already shown you the build mode and how much customization there is. And the fact you get to make your own driver's license and your own car. And I'll be honest with you, when I first had this game, I must have spent a day building my car. Because that's the kind of weirdo I am. But look at this, look at this bit. Watch. Detail. The garage opens. Right, back to the main menu. Through another loading screen. Now, the circuit races are your Grand Prix type things. But I think I'm going to show you off two more tracks, because I can. There is a uh, versus mode and time trial mode, but I can't show you versus mode because I have no friends. We've already discussed this. And I don't want to show you off the uh, circuit mode because, well, to be honest with you, I'd have to complete every Grand Prix to unlock the different courses. But so far, we only have the Imperial Grand Prix, so we're going to be playing as me, naturally. I love the fact it's cheer. I love that cheer. It's a shame I've got to cut out the loading screens on this because there is a really cool feature in them. They show you the map of the area you're going to be racing in during the load screens, and that's kind of cool. 
Right, shields up. Red alert. Fortunately, the shield also protects you from the oil slick. Which is very handy. Because that is probably one of the most annoying weapons. It's not one of the most powerful, certainly, but it is most annoying. Die! Mm -hmm. Those white bricks don't seem to do anything. I've picked them up several times during my test run. And literally, they give you... It looks like they give you an item, but they don't. Or at least that's not one they can use. Oh god, that's the Electro Zapathon. I do not want to be caught by that. No, no, no. And he stole the red brick. I don't know if I've mentioned this already, but they are colour-coded. For example, yellow is normally semi-offensive, semi-defensive stuff. And how good is this Super Slave right now? I'm in third. I don't normally get this good. Oh, bollocks, stop taking my shit! I'm in dead last now. I don't know what you get for being smug and making comments. Stop taking my red ones. Don't worry, I'll just have to outrace you. Oil! Ah! I missed it completely. I missed that offensive one completely. Bollocks to it. We're getting that one. Right, that's got me a bomb. Now I've just got to find whoever's in second, and thank God that guy hit the oil slick, not me. I don't know if in this game you can fire the weapons backwards like you can in Mario Kart, but it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun finding out. Dare you! Is that a shortcut I just saw? I can't. I, I don't. What? Die! I really get too competitive with this game. Oil. See, look, white one does nothing. Yep, I've lost this. I'm sick. Bollocks. You know what I was saying earlier? Fuck all of that. Right, another race, I think. Let's see what we got. We've done the Imperial Grand Prix, done the Dark Forest Dash, done the Magma Moon Marathon. Desert Adventure Dragway. Let's do the Dark Forest Dash. That way you'll have seen the first three courses. If you want to go to like a retro shop or somewhere or an emulator site and get hold of this and play Desert Adventure Dragway, you're more than welcome to because this game is amazing. And hopefully you'll be able to create a cart that looks a little bit better than mine. Yep, we're playing as me again. Cheer for me. Oh, he dances. Right, the Dark Forest Dash. Bit of off-roading for us. Let's go. I used to play this game so much and I can't remember the tracks at all. That kind of sucks a bit. What I don't like about this though, compared to say Mario Kart, that got the whole uh, kart racing and pickup thing right. Every time you pick up an item, it replaces the one you already had. So if you were holding a bomb to shoot someone, and you get a shield, you've got to use the shield, because there's, you don't get the bomb. Which kind of sucks a bit. Ah! I made a risky manoeuvre to try and get an offensive weapon, and I didn't. Instead, I screwed it up massively. I'm still in dead last, but at least I'm keeping up with the pack. Which is rare for me. Yep, you two just got bombed. And so did you. Damn it. Hold on, that a weapon. Oh, fuck. This is the problem when you have digital controls in a racing game. Right, shields up. Alright, come on, come on. I'm gonna do better than last. I'm gonna do better than last. Bollocks. I'll come last. This is going to be the last race of the video. Damn it. Alright, I have a weapon. Weapon's free. Bollocks. Stupid off-roading. No, oh, give me up. Damn it. No, I'm not going through the oil. Sod off. 
want a weapon. I want a weapon now. That'll do. Screw you. Ah, damn. Come on. Suck this much. Damn! Stupid weapon replacement system. Oh, fuck. Short range bombs are assholes. Yes, that was a shortcut I saw earlier. Die! No bollocks. And on that note of abject failure, I'm going to end the video here. So, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. And... Until Salas' week of Lego continues, I've been Salas, don't tempt me, and I will see you next time.